So I had the nickname Sassy Sarah in high school. It's the only nickname I've ever had, and it fits me perfectly. But you wouldn't know that if you didn't ask. I love Grey's Anatomy, but you wouldn't know that if you didn't ask. Um, I wear a lot of green because it's both my favorite color and it matches my eyes, but you wouldn't know that if you didn't ask. Uh, my glasses are so strong that if you look through them, you'd probably get a little dizzy. But again, you wouldn't know that if you didn't ask. <laughs> um, last summer, I owned a cake decorating company because last spring, I took a baking class, almost switched my major to culinary, but then decided or realized that I wouldn't survive the butchery class. But you wouldn't know that if you didn't ask. <laughs> but here's the thing. People don't always ask. In many ways, I felt known and seen by the other fellows in social settings and during class time, and I'm grateful for those relationships. It was more of a challenge for me to feel known at work. I worked at a startup, and I really understand that they're juggling everything, budgets, time, you know, the whole nine. And mine was really with just two people. And as a result, I didn't always feel like it was a priority to get to know me as a person. And that may or may not be true, but that was my experience. A couple of weeks before the mid-semester check-in with Lena, my mentor, and I, I reached out to Lena in a panic. I felt like I had been placed in the wrong internship, and I felt like I wasn't getting what I wanted out of it. Uh, from then on, I probably reached out to Lena once, like every other week, um, in the same state of panic until the end of the semester. And in those conversations, I heard Lena place it on me to advocate for myself, uh, something I generally have a really hard time with, um, especially in new situations where I don't know people. And after I would go home to my apartment, write the script of what I wanted to say to my mentor, and then not say any of it. And I probably could have. My mentor is not an intimidating person. Um, but it just felt too confrontational, and this may come as a surprise, but I hate confrontation. Uh, what I'm working on now is knowing that while I'm someone who wants to go through life answering questions and establishing relationships in that way, that's not the way it's always going to happen. People aren't always going to ask me the right questions at the right time. And that doesn't mean I have to silence myself. What that does mean is that I have to face a couple of things head on that really scare me. Putting myself out there and guess it, confrontation. There are ways in which the world is asking me to put myself out there, and I know that it's up to me about how I respond. The world is also asking the same of all of you. Be unapologetically yourself, and you decide what that means for you. Don't dim your own light and fear of what someone else's reaction might be. Don't be afraid to be the center of attention from time to time. And remember that com confrontation is Remember that sometimes confrontation is a good thing and that it doesn't inherently mean conflict. And remember that you control how you show up in the world. I'll leave you all today with a slightly adapted version of a Grace Anatomy quote that stopped me in my tracks the first time I heard it. They're not the sun, you are. <laughs>